guys, so I went in to edit this video that you're about to see and realized the entire intro is out of focus. Yay. So I had to refilm it and obviously I'm laying in bed. Um, but so this video is my aerial tutorial. It's pretty long awaited. I even went as far as I still have them in. I even went as far as um, I got these turquoise extensions to add a little bit more of like a C type of vibe. Um, I did red eyebrows, which is optional. Obviously, you don't have to go that far. Um, my eyes are sort of an oceany blue with a purple to represent her shell bra. And on the lower lash line, it's two shades of green to represent her tail. Then I have um, a coral blush um, and some pink lips. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm sorry if it's out of focus. My camera was having issues for some reason. So yeah. Um, and I will talk to you guys in my next video or right now. Okay, obviously because I don't have red hair, I'm going to mimic that with doing some red eyebrows. Um, I am using a, sorry if I'm out of breath, I just dragged a bunch of stuff from my apartment downstairs to the car and then from the car to the house and from the house up to my room. So I'm a little out of breath, excuse that. But anyway, I'm just gonna fill in my eyebrows with this CoverGirl Lip Perfection Lip Pencil in Passion. And using my handy dandy little mirror here. I've actually never done this before. Filled it in with a lip liner, but we'll, we'll see. This is completely optional. I just, because I'm filming a video, I decided why not go with red brows. It's very subtle just because my eyebrows are pretty dark, but they are red nonetheless. I'm going to take an eyeshadow base. This is Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is just the first one I grabbed. So I'm going to put that all over my lids. So, of course, I can't do an aerial palette or aerial look without my aerial palette. And this is from the Sephora Story Look Collection. And I have an entire review and rundown of all of the colors on my blog. If you guys didn't know I have a beauty blog, it is sevenbarasera.blogspot.com, so go check that out. Um, this is my first blog post on there, and the packaging is absolutely beautiful. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna be taking this on a flat shader brush. First shadow I'm gonna be taking is Blue Lagoon, which is right here. And this is just a bodyography brush. And I'm going to put this on the inner half of my lid. And if you want this to be even more intense, go in with like NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil and Milk. Um, as I haven't had my full makeup collection here in a long time, I'm trying to find everything. So I haven't found it yet, so <laughs> that's why I'm not using it. But... I would probably suggest using that. This color is pretty pigmented on its own, but... And once you've got that evenly blended out, I'm going to take the color Caspian Sea, which is this middle shade on the second row right here. It kind of looks green on camera, but it's more of a teal color. I'm going to put that right next to the blue. to deepen it up a little bit and kind of putting it on top of the lagoon or blue lagoon color that we put before and this will deepen it up and with my trusty blending brush this comes in on every tutorial this is my Sigma E25 I'm actually going to be taking one of my favorite colors in this palette and it is Sea Witch this is this beautiful purple down here. It's not focusing, but it is a gorgeous, gorgeous purple. And I'm going to do sort of like a cut crease, a light cut crease, blending those into the 
blues. So obviously the blues are mimicking the ocean, the eyebrows are representing her hair, and we'll get to her tail in just a second, but continue to build up that purple. It might take you a little bit. I prefer to start off with a blending brush because it just helps things run along a lot smoothly, a lot more smoothly I should say. Proper grammar children, stay in school. Defined crease brush. Um, this is from Sonia Kashuk. Um, it says number 205 at the bottom, so I'm assuming that's the color, with the same Sea Witch color, packing it a little bit more onto the brush. And this is a little angled um, du duo fiber brush, but I'm more focusing that right on the orbital bone, right in into the socket line. And to bring that out a little bit, I'm going to put in a little bit of Shalala, which is this hot pink and that will bring out more of the pinker tones than the bluer tones are bringing out. I'm just putting this right on top. I just want it to be very obvious that it is purple and not fading out into a darker blue. You get my drift? I don't know why my leg was just shaking. My that was weird. And to blend all of that um, excess out underneath the brow, I'm going to take uh, my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush that I usually use for my concealer, and I'm just going to use this sort of as an eraser. And just with my finger, I'm going to use Seashells, which is appropriately named because it is a very shimmery sort of highlight shade. And I like to do this with my fingers. I find it a lot easier. My shirt's writing up. And I'm just going to put this right on the tear duct. And with this look, because it is pretty dark, I like to do a bright inner tear duct. And I'm also going to put this right underneath the arch of my brows. And with a makeup wipe, I am just going to wipe off the fallout. And it also creates more of a sharp edge. With a stiff angled brush, this is on the end of this, and you catch a brush I use all the time. I'm going to use Atlantica first on the inner half of my bottom lash line, and then Fins appropriately named on the outer half. So this will mimic her tail. And even though we're going into fall now, I think they are beautiful colors for spring. Or if you just happen to be watching this in the spring. Now I'm going into fins. To add a little bit, this is completely optional, but I thought it would add a little bit of a je ne sais quoi to this look. I am going to be using this Sugar Pill Pigment, and this is in Lumi, and I'm going to try to show it to you without spilling it everywhere, but it's white with this like teal duochrome to it, so I'm actually just going to use what is in the cap, and I'm going to be doing a tutorial eventually. Um, when I get around to it, um, doing a galaxy look, and I used, I have a picture on Instagram of my galaxy eyes, but, um, this just adds such a cool look to greens and blues and things like that, and this little bit just goes a super, super long way, but it's completely optional, but adds a little bit of sparkle, and... What girl doesn't like a little bit of sparkle? And now I'm just singing part of your world in my head. <laughs> then to add a little bit of definition, I'm going to do a black a liquid liner on the top line. This is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Liner, which is my all-time favorite. Um, 
hopefully it's not dried out. I haven't used it in a while, but it's just a felt tip and it literally stays until you take it off, which even then it's hard to take off. Sorry if I'm not in frame for this, but it's just, I'm doing a very, very simple, you know, no, nothing really to it. Simple line. And I'm not doing a wing because I suck at wings, so yeah. And to deepen things up a little bit, I'm going to be using my NYX Slide On liner in jet black on my tight line. And this is a little weird to show on camera because some people get creeped out. But I should have done this before I did the liquid liner, but... Just the tip, make it easier if you are new to tight lining. Make sure your pencil is sharp um, because if it's dull, it'll stab you and that is not a fun time. Just let me tell you, it is really, really not. <laughs> okay, um, then I'm going to go in with mascara. My current favorite is the Illegal Length by Maybelline. And just give really amazing length to my eyelashes. Okay, so I'm going to take NARS Chaos. I don't know. It's spelled like chaos with a T. Looks like that. And it's a coral blush, so I thought it was appropriate for Ariel. My mom's in here watching me film. big powder brush and my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer, which I've showed this before, but it sadly broke when I was trying to depot it and give myself a nice tanned look because I'm pale. And because Ariel's a mermaid, you know, why not? To finish everything off, I'm going to be using this lipstick that I just actually got today because I don't know whatever, what else, what other lipstick to use. Um, and this is one of the Revolution lipsticks from Urban Decay, which I love, by the way. And this is in the color Obsessed. And it's brand new, like I said, so it's like a baby pink. So is my finished Ariel look. This is probably my favorite tutorial I've done in this series so far, even though I've only done three, but I'm very, very excited about this. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!